hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about fructose and galactose and some disease related to it so before we start subscribe to my channel so you cannot miss my future videos and let's get starting without further ado so fructose and galactose are the isomers of the glucose which has the same formula as the glucose which is C6H12O6 formula. Galactose and glucose are taken up into the enterocyte with the help of SGLT1 transporter which is NA dependent transporter. Fructose are taken up into the enterocyte with facilitated diffusion with the help of GLUT5 transporter. All leave enterocytes by GLUT2 transporter into the circulatory system. So remember that galactose and glucose are taken up into the cells via SGLT1 and fructose are getting into the cell with the help of GLUT5 and they all will leave the enterocyte into the circulatory system with GLUT2 transporter. So as you can see in the picture that glucose and galactose will get into the enterocyte with the help of SGLT1 and fructose will get into the enterocyte with the help of GLUT5 and they all will leave with the help of GLUT2 transporter into the circulatory system. So first of all we are going to talk about is fructose which is a commonly found in sucrose which is a form of glucose and fructose and we are going to see that fructose how it will go into the glycolysis pathway. So first of all we will see how fructose will go into the glycolysis pathway. Fructose will first will convert into the fructose 1-phosphate with the help of fructose kinase enzyme which is commonly found in liver and with the ATP it will convert into the fructose 1-phosphate. After that fructose 1-phosphate will convert into glyceraldehyde and dehydroxyacetone phosphate with the help of aldolase B. Glyceraldehyde then will convert into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate with the help of tyrokinase and that's how fructose will go into the glycolysis pathway. As we have all known that glycolysis has rate limiting step as we have talked about in my previous video that the rate limiting step is phosphofructokinase 1 which will determine the glycolysis will happen or not. So but fructose, fructose will directly convert into the dehydroxyacetone phosphate so it will bypass that rate limiting step. So there will be rapid metabolism of fructose happens in compare of the glucose. So now we can say that fructose will metabolize faster than the glucose. As we have all known that hexokinase is the initial enzyme for the glycolysis but hexokinase also metabolizes small amount of fructose too. So remember that hexokinase also metabolizes some amount of fructose and it is an initial enzyme for the glycolysis. So the first disease that we are going to see about fructose is essential fructosuria in which there will be deficiency of fructokinase and which is a benign condition. In this disease there will be fructose not taken up by the liver cells and therefore fructose will appear in the urine and how much fructose will appear in the urine that will depend on the intake of the fructose. Second disease that we are going to see is hereditary fructose intolerance. In this disease there will be deficiency of this aldolase B enzyme. Therefore there will be accumulation of the fructose 1-phosphate in the body. How that we are going to see in the next slides. So there is the aldolase B deficiency therefore there will be high amount of fructose 1-phosphate in the body. So there will be high amount of fructose 1-phosphate in the body therefore there will be low amount of ATP because fructose is not going into the glycolysis pathway. So there will be low ATP in the body and because of the low ATP there will be low gluconeogenesis and therefore there will be hypoglycemia and vomiting we'll see in, the, in this disease. Also because of the low ATP there will be low glycogen breakdown therefore glycogen will accumulate in the liver and therefore we will see hepatomegaly and it will lead to liver failure. So this disease occur in a babies who have just weaned from the breast milk because breast milk mostly have lactose in it. So this baby will failure to thrive and the symptoms will occur after the normal feeding because in normal feeding there will be lots of amount of fructose in it and the fructose will uh, accumulate in the body and it will show some, some symptoms like hypoglycemia and sometimes the scissors. And there will be enlarged liver too because there will be low glycogen breakdown and it will, glycogen will accumulate in the liver and will see the hepatomegaly in this disease. This is the part of the newborn screening panel as for preventing the disease 
and in treatment is the avoid fructose and sucrose and sorbitol how sorbitol that we are going to see in the next slide you guys must be wondering that how sorbitol is the treatment of their disease so it's because of the polyol pathway in polyol pathway glucose will convert into the sorbitol with the help of aldolase reductase and that sorbitol will convert into the fructose with the help of sorbitol dehydrogenase so if we give babies sorbitol it will convert eventually into the fructose and fructose will accumulate in the body and will show the symptoms of this disease so we have to avoid sorbitol in the treatment of this disease so next we are going to talk about is galactose galactose commonly found in lactose which is a form of glucose and galactose which usually converted into the glucose 6 phosphate and that glucose 6 phosphate either will go into the glycolysis or it will go into the gluconeogenesis so first of all we'll see how galactose will convert into the glucose 1 phosphate so galactose first will convert into the galactose 1 phosphate with the help of galactokinase enzyme and the atp and galactose 1 phosphate will convert into the glucose 1 phosphate with the help of galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase or GALT and the help of UDP glucose. And that's how galactose will convert into the glucose 1 phosphate. So the first disease that are related to galactose that we are going to talk about now is classic galactosemia in which there is a deficiency of galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase or GALT which is an autosomal recessive disorder and glucose 1 phosphate accumulate in the cells in this disease which will lead to accumulation of galactitol in the cells how galactitol will accumulate in the cells that we are going to see in the next slide so if you remember polyol pathway in which aldolase reductase will convert glucose into the sorbitol but here aldolase reductase also convert galactose into the galactitol and that's how galactitol will accumulate in the cells so classic galactosemia usually present in the infancy often first few days of life and shortly after the conception of milk because milk has lactose in it and the lactose is form of galactose and glucose. So in this disease there is a liver accumulation of galactose and galactitol and therefore it will lead to liver failure, jaundice, hepatomegaly and failure to thrive. Sometimes it will lead to cataract it if this disease left untreated. So in the screening of this disease, there is a GALT enzyme activity assay which will determine there is a GALT deficiency present or not. In the treatment of this disease, there is avoidance of galactose, it which means there will be no dairy products. So the second disease that we are going to see about galactose is galactokinase deficiency, which is a milder form of galactosemia in which there is a galactose not taken up by the cells. Because of that, galactose will accumulate in the blood and urine and sometimes we'll see cataracts as a child or young adult and there will be vision problem too as we have seen before that galactose is converting into the glucose 1 phosphate with the two main enzymes which is galactokinase and galactose 1 phosphate uridyl transferase but in this disease galactokinase is deficient so liver cannot uptake the galactose into the cells so therefore we will see galactose into the blood and urine so thank you everyone for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for my new videos